Welcome, guys, to the start of a new Let's Play and our 20th game by Neon Falcom. As we now begin The Legend of Neuta Boundless Trails, a game advertised as a cross gameplay wise between the Kaseki Trails series and East itself with action combat, but with a more heavy RPG elements that East, I'm looking forward to playing a game that uh, has a somewhat suspicious release timing because of course it's always had like, oh, people have always been like, oh, does this relate to Trails at all? While there may not be anything that we've seen thus far necessarily in our Trails playthrough, you never know when they might incorporate things and I'm interested in finding out why people think that when it's such a standalone game. So, Without further ado, I'll be up here in the corner, dodging the UI elements, doing a live commentary let's play, shutting up if there is voice, dialogue, and cutscenes of course, but reading out all text beside that, as we now begin our game. New Calendar 1579 Summer In the Sea of Ciencia Approximately 980 cells southwest of Port Town St. Elise. Elise, even, maybe. The wind's picking up. Eighty-seven point sixty-one degrees, and the average value from the surface of the sea is. Hey, Naita, what do you think you're doing out here? Oh, hey, Signa. Don't you, oh, hey, Signa, me. As soon as I saw you weren't in the room. I knew exactly where you'd be. Didn't I tell you to get some proper sleep today? But the sky's so clear tonight. I thought it would be perfect for stargazing. And we should be able to see the summer triangle, too. Good grief. Starry-eyed as always. The captain said it'll take until morning to get to Remnant Isle, remember? You'd better catch up on sleep now, or you'll look like a wreck by the time you get home. If I was at the Academy's observatory, I'd be able to measure more precisely. Hey, Nayuta. Can't you at least pay attention when your honorary big bro is talking to you? You always get tunnel vision whenever you get absorbed in something. But I guess that's part of your charm. <laughs> My bad. I can't wait to see everyone. Eartha, Lyra, Master Orvis. It's been about four months since we left Remnant Isle. I hope they're doing well. Only four months. Nothing changes that fast. Either way, it's nice that our break's finally lined up. All that work with the Vigilante Corps really wiped me out. So I'm looking forward to taking it easy back home. Yeah, me too. Dad, Mum, I'll be home soon. Thanks, Dad, for I've been learning so much at the Academy in St. Elsay. But it's been so hectic. I haven't been able to keep up with her. She won't be happy if I get home all exhausted. Signa, look! Ho oh. ho ho! It's a meteor shower. Ah, oh, so beautiful. And it's right over Remnant Isle. Do you think there are any star fragments mixed in? Yeah, I'm sure there are. Wow, what a view. <laughs> Maybe the stars are welcoming us back home. I should record this and... Nuh-uh. what I just tell you? If you don't sleep today, you'll pay the price tomorrow. Back to the cabin. Come on! This world has an end. 
That's what we've been taught for as long as anyone can remember. Even the sea, which appears to stretch forever, has a point beyond which no one can go. That's why many scholars say that this world is flat, and why the people believe them. But not me. It can't be true. I believe that the world is so much bigger. So begins our prologue, Gate to the Other World. The next morning. Well, that was a long trip. It's about 1,760 sail from the port of St. Elise. No matter how swift Captain Pups's ferry boat is, half a day is still pretty rough. <sighs> that was one huge yawn. This is exactly why I told you to get some sleep. <laughs> well, I was wide awake after seeing that splendid meteor shower. Ah, <sighs> so sleepy. Well, you better get home and ask her for the Fiji breakfast before you collapse on the trail. I'll head over after I drop off my luggage at Master Orbis's place. Sounds good. I'll see you after them. will fetch a pretty good price. <laughs> I bet Aunt Leah will be pleased. Oh, is that Nayuta? Welcome back, Nayuta. I'm home. Wait, how did you know I was here already? <laughs> I heard the sheep outside. The ship seems to have arrived on time. Go ahead and rest up. It must have been a long trip. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> oh, what's wrong? You seem awfully sleepy. You stayed up late again, didn't you? <laughs> Does it show? Is there any breakfast left? I'm really hungry. <laughs> I was waiting for you because I wanted to eat together with you today. My special egg soup is simmering, so let's have a late breakfast. Yay! Ah, oh, the thought of getting to eat your home-cooked meals again makes me even hungrier. It'll be ready soon, so go ahead and put your luggage down. Remember to wash your hands, okay? <laughs> I know. I think I can finally relax. Tigna said he'd be here later, but... Yo, long time no see, Arthur. Oh, the food smells as good as ever, doesn't it? Oh, hello, Signa. You're looking well. Since you're here, would you like to join us for breakfast? Yes, of course. I guess I'll just barge in then. <laughs> Looks like he's already here. I should go down too.
Thanks for the food. Man, F is just too good at cooking. I ate so well. If you go out in the city, I'm sure you can start a diner or two. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. I'm nothing special compared to a professional chef. Plus, I still have my work as a star fragment observer that I inherited from my mother. Job analyzing the sites within the star fragments. It's not something you see much of of the island. Well, star fragments are sort of remnant isle speciality. How's your work been lately? <laughs> not bad. But this morning was a little unusual. Unusual? What did you see in that star fragment? Would you like to take a look? I still have it fixed in the scope. Of course! It's in your room, right? Let's go take a look. Hey now, calm down. The star fragment isn't going anywhere. And let's clean up the dishes and take a look together. Star fragments. Mysterious ores that fall into the sea near Remnant Isle alongside meteors. When illuminated by seven different colors of light by a special machine, they can project a beautiful world. People call this site Lost Heaven and are fascinated by its existence. Wow, this is awesome, Eva. This looks like some kind of tower. It's so tall and majestic, and the surrounding scenery is beautiful too. This really is amazing. You've shown me a few star fragments in the past, but I've never seen one like this. Right? I was surprised when I first saw it too. It's that near. Let me see it too. Even amazing is an understatement. Usually, star fragments tend to depict the natural world, like forests, oceans, animals, and the sky. I've heard that some show things like ruins, but I think it's rare to see a full structure this clearly. World of Lost Heaven. Does it really exist? If so, where? And why could it only be seen in star fragments? Researchers have been trying to answer these questions for a very long time. There may be a reason for why the star fragments only fall within the vicinity of Remnant Isle. No, there must be. Nothing happens without a reason. Someday I'm going to find out for myself just what that reason is. Oh, Neuda. There he goes again, off in his own little world. Ah, dear me. Lost heaven, huh? I think the accident that claimed Neuta and Eartha's parents had something to do with it. But then this guy stops listening to me when he gets in his zone. Come on, man, let me take a good look at it too. I think you'll be waiting your turn for a while. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I guess I got too excited. <laughs> it's okay. It's been a while since I've seen you look so happy. Well, I do understand how you feel. It's quite the view. If there really is a tower like that, I'd love to see it someday. Hmm. What's up, Signa? It's nothing. More importantly, I've come here today with a proposal. A proposal? I thought you came here for breakfast. Well, that's just how things ended up. Besides, I already had breakfast at Master Orbis's house. You still do eat a lot. Well, I am still growing, but that's not my point. The thing is, I'm thinking about resuming our handyman business during our summer break. You mean the one we used to run? That's right. We'll take any and all requests again and get paid for solving them. We'll be the village's jacks of all trades. Ever since I started up with the Vigilante Corps in St. Elze, it's been on hiatus, but now that we're back... <laughs> I think people would appreciate that. The village has been short-handed with you two gone. Right, it's time to live up to their expectations. What do you say, Noda? Instead of idling around this summer, why not put ourselves to work? <laughs> I mean, I never planned to lounge about in the first place, but... Sure, why not? Let's do it. Are we going to use our house as an office and collect requests like we used to? Yep, actually I already put the word out on my way here. There might even be a few requests in the mailbox already. <laughs> You're shrewd as ever, Signa. More like impatient. <laughs> I knew you guys would be down. Let's go check the mailbox outside right now, Neuda. Alright, wait for me, Signa. Have fun, boys. And good luck. Thanks, Erfa. And so our game truly begins. So our intro done. Let's see what it actually involves and entails, shall we? To talk, press X. To examine, press X. Everything goes on X, except for our options button that brings up my equipment, item, etc. 
We are in the Herschel's house. <laughs> Once we see uh, the fill screen with the middle pad, there you can check your current location, stats, and objectives. It gives you a hint too. These helpful tutorials can be viewed at any time by selecting lessons from the camp screen. There we go. UI in go. So now I fit in better. <laughs> by weird camera placement, I'm sure. It's such a relief to have you both back safe and sound. You only sent me letters until summer break. Uh, sorry, Eva, for being so selfish. Hey, I didn't say that to make you feel bad, but you might want to let mum and dad know that you're back home. When you get a chance, why don't you stop by the cemetery on the Cape? Yeah, I'll try to make the time between my handyman jobs. Alright, today I promised the merchant I would give him the star fragment I analysed. I'll be out for a bit in the morning, but I'll be back in time to make you something delicious for lunch. Look forward to it, Nehuda. <laughs> Thanks, I will. It's more like Nayuta is how it was said, wasn't it? Not less than an A sound, I guess. Sketchable drew of the view inside isn't bad either. Nobody likes it. Regarding the star fragment, eh? Ooh, we got double, triple dialogues going on. Now, of course, we have to learn the game systems. And it's, of course, a Falcon game, so we don't know if there's quests obtained, etc., by talking to people, if there's missable content, etc. Let's say Septluxian Scope. Septluxian. Eartha uses this for her job. I shouldn't touch you without her permission. She gave me an old model that she doesn't use anymore to put in my room, so I should use that. Septluxian. Oh. There's an old desk and a bookshelf. This is the workspace for our honeyman business. <laughs> it's still been a while. We're finally resuming our business after four months. Been a bit of time then. Wonder if there's a run button, etc. There's a Septluxian scope. This is the scope that Eartha passed down to me. You can view star fragments with this machine. I should bring any that I find. Okay, what's this glowing jar? Small shattered star fragments are packed in a bin. You sometimes see these washed ashore on the beach of the Remnant Isle. Since shattered fragments don't show lost heaven, they aren't really worth much. But they're beautiful, so it still makes you want to collect them. Lost heaven. Can't go to bed by the look of it. Or view what's on that board. We've got an outside veranda area. And this too. Oh, it's Dad's telescope! Earth must have gotten it out for me because I was coming home. She's even been doing maintenance. The sun is still up, but let's take a peek. Now you do it. Looked into the astronomical telescope. The telescope can be operated using L. Zoom in with L1 and zoom out with R1. Oh, wait, so this is going to be something of import to look around? How much can I view? I'm pressing R1, so I must already be... Oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> well, considering the position of this telescope, I have some suspicions about the, these two moons. <laughs> I think that's natural. We can talk to the sheep. <laughs> Long time to see. You seem well. Talking to them casually as well, like that. Seems like you've already got a couple of requests. Come on, Nita. Go check your mailbox. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Oh, what, like Flat Earth? Yeah, sure. Lunchbox support requests. Oh, they support requests as well. <laughs> and swordsman training. I forgot my lunch. I'll be at the plaza, so please make a new one for me. A whole new one? And swordsman training with Orbus. I'm glad you're both well. It's been a while, so we should train. Come to the beach. A quest section has been added to the camp screen. Open system from the camp screen and select quest to see the details of the request you've accepted. Utilize this when the notification icon notifies you of additional requests. When certain events occur on the island, a notification icon appears on the lower left corner of the screen. I did see it. Training event, donation event. Uh, we didn't get that many requests, huh? Yeah, I already took care of the requests that seem nasty, like monster exterminations. Oh, you mean the fun stuff? Since you're more detail-oriented, I left you the smaller jobs. That way we can divide and conquer. Sounds good. Oh, but Master Orbis requested that we come together. Well then, I'll leave the rest here with you. I'll go beat up those monsters. Wait, Signa? <laughs> Maybe he's a little shy since Master Orbis is his foster parent. Anyway, this request is from Dorado. I've been entrusted with the job, so I have to make sure it gets done right. Handyman Ho. 
You can acquire achievements by meeting certain conditions during the course of the game. Check on your achievements by accessing them via system on the camp screen. Oh, okay. Well, I've got no equipment at the moment. We've got head slot. What? Oh, head arm. Weapon. Foot body. Items use ingredients, so we can definitely probably cook. Definitely probably. Collectibles and event. And then I guess this is our achievements. Doesn't look familiar at all. Interestingly, some of them seem to have like red lines on them. Some of them don't. We can look at our quest value this bag as well. well I need to make someone a lunch. Shall I ask you? Alright, no, nope, that doesn't seem to work. And the hundred above me, I'm assuming that's currency. Well, that's a bit of an assumption to make, isn't it? What's with this mysterious tree? And it looks like it has an entrance. Yeah, I can jump. Run doesn't seem to be an option. Or at least not one that I found yet. Well, let's start checking out the town. Stargazers Tavern and Inn. We provide meals and lodgings. <laughs> yeah, I always like little animations like that. By the way, I've got to say, I actually quite like the way that the uh, characters are designed with their, uh, the colours and the shading on them. Oh, Nayuda! Long time no see! Hey, Gruz, how have you, uh, what's that smell? It's a bit of sweet, spicy, and sour all at once. Oh, that? I was just working on a new menu item. Why don't you taste it for me, Nota? Uh, I've sampled his new dishes before, and they've all been pretty terrible. Uh, I'm actually pretty full, so I think I'll pass. Is that right? Too bad. But I'm sure you'll have another opportunity soon. Thanks in advance, Nota Man. Nota Man. Do you think Lyra's in a rebellious stage? She doesn't help taste anything anymore. Barton's got work to do, so it's hard to get him to take time out of his schedule. But now that you and Big Singer are back, I've got two perfect candidates. I'll definitely be asking you guys to sample a new menu item in the near future. Seems like I'm trapped here. Oh, Nayuta, you're back. Yeah, I just arrived. Long time no see, Uncle Barton. How's the store doing? Well, it's a bar in the countryside. Nothing's changed a bit. Just a few tourists whenever the ferry comes by. Ah, uh, you don't seem to have changed a bit either. But where's Lyra? It doesn't look like she's in the store today. Actually, I just asked her to run an errand. I'm sure she'll be back before long. But I won't keep you waiting. I'll let her know when she gets back. Thanks, Uncle Barton. Lyra, I hope she's well. You guys were always playing together when you were young. I'm sure she'll be more than happy to see you back. I'll let her know when she's done with her errands. Oh, aren't you? It's been a while, Nayuda. Aunt Leah, you're here. Are you working? Yep, I'm here to pick up the star frame and I asked your sister to analyze. I stayed here last night and was just taking a break until my next appointment. Is that so? My sister let me see that star fragment earlier. It was such a mysterious and beautiful image. Even Arthur was saying so. Did she now? That's good to hear. Well, I'll look forward to it then. Star fragments are a type of ore that uniquely reflect a mysterious landscape within. The visage of the so-called lost heaven. The image varies from fragment to fragment and so does the price. Not to mention seeing the images requires slightly different procedures for each one. Which is where a star fragment observer like Arthur comes in. She's still young, but she's great at what she does. She's been instrumental in my business. It seems that, uh, of course, our developers have made sure the NPCs have a lot of dialogue yet again. As they do with their worlds. Hmm. She's only his daughter, Ursa, right? I've never really seen her talking to anyone. Just staring quite rudely. But sorry, I, I guess it kind of was. What do you want? I'm busy. There it is. Let's just invade some people's rooms by the look of it. Find no one within. Alright, we'll leave you frying up a storm over there. Is there a map that we can get? Welcome to Sunset General Store. Sunset is your one-stop shop for all your souvenir needs. Be sure to pick up a beautiful Star Fragment Remnant Isle Speciality. I mean, if I press this, we just get this. Two requests are coming. Let's get right on them. Like, I don't know where it is yet. I've got to find things. 
There's no map marker that says go this way. Come on in, Nayuda. It's been a while. Are you here on an errand today or to ask your local general store owner out on a date? Got peeps there or something? Look at you, still joking around. Oh, but I'm not joking. Just kidding. I got some good black tea in the other day. Let's sit down and enjoy some with Eartha soon. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, look at this. Isn't this star fragment huge? Chief Serpents told me to promote the speciality of the Remnant Isle and gave it to me. <laughs> it's not for sale, though, but you can look at it as much as you like. Welcome. What can I... What can I buy? Solar beans. Can I buy ingredients and materials? Guide to fine cuisine. A beginner's guide for cooking authentic dishes. It contains recipes for fine cuisine. Come again. Fine. The weirdest little bridge balcony I've ever seen. I mean, may as well use the space, right? Way to go first. Not that way. Oh, no. That way. Oh, it's Dorado. I think he submitted a request. I should ask him what's going on. If you talk to a character with Square, you can ask about quests. And there's the cemetery on the cape just over there. I have to make sure I let Mum and Dad know that I'm back. Well, I guess I'll go to the cemetery first, actually. There aren't usually a lot of people at the Cape on the backside of the island. The view is great, and with only the sound of the waves, it's very peaceful. Is it because the sky is clear that the moon is so beautiful? The academy's fun, but nothing feels quite like home. It's another day! Here I come! The moons. Big and bright. I take it the cemetery's down this way. Crap! What you got going on with your life? Well, I can't jump on you. William Herschel and Mary Herschel. May their souls rest in heavenly peace. Dad. Mum. I'm back. The boat just pulled in a little while ago. I said a quick hello to Eartha, too. It's been four months since I was here last, but I'm relieved that nothing's changed. It's been five years since the boat my parents were on sank. You left for the end of the world in search of lost heaven and never came back? I've been lucky enough to have Signa and Eartha supporting me. Just watch. I'll study hard at the academy and become a respectable adult. And your dream, lost heaven. I'll find it myself someday. So please... Keep watching over me. Well, I guess it's time to get going. Signal will get mad if I slack off too much. Hello, stray dog. Oh, who are you? Did you get lost on the ferry and wash up on the island? <laughs> this is so cute. I wonder if we could keep her at our house. If only we had a proper kennel. Maybe I'll search for one at the general store. Well, it looks like we're going to adopt a dog. We already had a kennel. We could keep her at our house. Okay, we've got our own little mission to partake in by the look of things. I'm wondering if there's like uh, treasure chests hidden in corners of things. It's always uh, the interesting thing when you start a new series. Even if it is within a familiar kind of, like, set of rules, you're still wondering where the rules may differ. It's the familiarity that might lead you to make mistakes after all. Oh, yeah, it's at the general store. I was going to go back and say, hey, sis! Doghouse, 1,050. <laughs> mirror. Not enough mirror indeed. As Biet gives a sub. Thank you very much, buddy. Right then. Well, I guess I need to make some mirror. Hey, New Year. Did you go to see Earthy yet? Yep, I dropped off my luggage too. It's been a while, hasn't it? How's it been keeping watch? Well, same as usual, I guess. To be honest, everything is so calm that I'm kind of bored. Hmm, I see. Our village definitely is peaceful. 
Man, I'm so jealous that you have such a beautiful sister. Not only is she beautiful, but she's also kind and a wonderful cook. Hey, Nuya, have you ever wanted a brother? Oh, it hasn't changed at all. But maybe that's a sign of just how peaceful it is here. I'm so jealous of you, Nuya. You have such a beautiful sister. Man, people are not created equal. Hey, I heard you guys are reopening your business. Are you about my request? Yes, if I remember correctly, you forgot your lunch. Yeah, usually I prepare my own meal every morning, but today I forgot. So I decided to ask the handyman to help. I see. Couldn't you just eat at the Stargazer's Tavern and Inn or something? Yeah, but don't you have someone at home who can help me? The grub guru with the culinary skills of a master chef. Your beautiful sister, Urfa. Ah, so basically you just want Urfa to cook for you. J just take this anyway. Ingredients obtained. That's what I brought from home. Please give the ingredients to Urfa and ask her to make lunch for me. All right, I'll accept your request. It's kind of odd that he forgot his lunch, but has a bunch of ingredients. Well, I'll leave it to you. I mean, he's just taking an open opportunity. You can check the progress on your quest on the quest screen. Notes are updated automatically, so you can use them when you lose track of your progress. I mean, hopefully we shouldn't be losing any track of anything as we go, but... Uh, you never know. Alright, today I promised the merchant I would give him the star frame that I analyzed. Oh no, we, we need to talk to you about the quest reason. Thanks, I will. Quest talk. Square. What's wrong, Nida? Um, actually, I have a favor to ask you. Dorado and his lunchbox. <laughs> there he goes again. What do you mean again? The handyman business might have been paused while you and Signa were away, but Dorado has been requesting a lunchbox once a week. He'd bring his own ingredients and I had no trouble doing it, so... He forgets his lunch pretty frequently, doesn't he? He can be quite clumsy. Isn't Dorado just taking advantage of your kindness? Oh, well, do you think you can help out again? No, to hand over a bag of ingredients. Carrot, onion, bacon. I know just what to do with this. Give me a few minutes. Sh teach me. Last step, I'll wrap the lunchbox in there. All set and good to go. Arthur's lunchbox. Oh, that looks delicious, but that's my sister for you. You sure look like you were having fun packing it up. It's been a while since I've seen you like this. Hmm, don't start acting all weird on me, Nuda. You're off to your handyman job today, right? I should make lunch for my hardworking brother too. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I have some leftover ingredients from breakfast. Ooh, tough tendons. What do you think about lunch using these ingredients? Sounds good, thank you. It's been a while since I've had one of your lunches. I'm excited. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Well then, I'll be taking those ingredients. When you give ingredients to Urfa, she'll make you a lunchbox. Talk to Urfa with X, select ask for lunchbox, and choose a dish you would like her to make. So I don't cook, but you do. Shall I make a lunchbox? Yes, heal experience. Experience? Special effects, none. There you go. Even see about ingredients where the place found. We made some jerky. Oh, experience for cooking. Okay. Steamed pork bun. If I bought some solar beans. Luxury. Just one dish. One dish luxury. That's interesting. Come by again when you're hungry. Thank you, Eva. I can't wait to enjoy it. You're very welcome. Oh, and I should give you this now too. Outdoor cooking set. No, I can cook by myself. I thought it would be the perfect gift for you since you mentioned in your letter that it's hard to cook for yourself. For this, you'll easily be able to cook anyway, including your school's boarding house. I can teach you to make anything, so make sure you keep improving. <laughs> Thank you. It sure looks authentic, and I'm sure it'll make it simple to practice cooking. Thank you. Yes, right on all accounts. Be sure to deliver that lunchbox to Dorado while it's still warm, okay? Cooking options have been added to the camp screen. Using the lunchbox will not only recover Nato's HP, but provide experience as well. You will also be able to make any dish you've tried before for yourself. If you have the ingredients, it just, it does just give, give me experience. Overweight your lunchbox. When you learn how to cook something, you can even make it yourself. However, you cannot cook during a stage. Stage. Lunchboxes can be used from the field screen. In fact, the lunch times cooked, ingredients required. Lunchbox status as well, so you can only have a certain amount. 
Lunchbox has been added to the field screen. You can quickly use a lunchbox by pressing the middle button. Okay. I do not want to use it, however. I'll keep that for later, though. Getting extra experience, I guess, wouldn't be bad. Wondering if there was anything down there. Didn't quite check near the front of the screen. I have your food, sir. D don't tell me. Could this aroma be... That's right. It's the lunch Eartha prepared. Neuda gave Eartha's lunchbox to Dorado. Wow, thanks, Neuda. Now I surely have the energy I need to take care of the village. Eartha's homemade lunch filled up with her love and sincerity. I'll be sure to enjoy it. Ah, uh, by the way... Yeah? It seems this isn't the first time something like this has happened. You're not forgetting your lunch on purpose, are you? Uh... If you want to eat Eartha's cooking, why not just ask her directly? I'm sure you don't have to do this in such a roundabout way. She'll cook for you if you just ask. Sh shut up. It's... I'm not... I'm not... Uh, like... Not like... I I'm not doing it on purpose or anything. Maybe I should have just left it alone. Uh, uh, anyway... Thanks again, Nuda. It's not much, but you can have this. 50 mirror? That won't afford me a doghouse. Already then, I'll let you know if I need help with anything else. Sh sure. Thank you for your business. Lunchbox support request is complete. Oh, well, you know, that is... I didn't forget my lunch on purpose just to eat Earth's cooking. I, I really mean it. Uh, okay, I believe you. I mean, he's saying it all out loud. Right, where to next? So what's this place? Oh, God, there's actually quite a... A large segment of town. All right, well, let's continue exploring. Chicken. Now, Yuda, it's only been a little while, but you've grown so big. I thought you were a giant for a second there. <laughs> You're exaggerating, Uncle Sculpt. It's only been about four months since I left. Not exaggerating. You must be having a growth spurt getting that tool. Come on, Jessica. Say hello to Neru now. Jessica the cow. It's good to see you too, Jessica. Well, you've got a long summer break, right? Make sure you relax your heart's content. We'll be here a while anyway, so you ought to relax your heart's content. Don't ruin your summer break by catching a cold or anything. Oh, you're back, Neuda. Hey, Booty. How you doing? Hmm, King Booty is always doing awesome. More importantly, come on, hand over my souvenir. Uh, actually, I was in a rush, hey? A rush to get on the ferry. So I didn't have time to buy any souvenirs. What? But I told you. I was really looking forward to St. Elise's Port Souffle, idiot. S sorry, I'll get you one next time. Promise. Sounds like he's still a glutton. I can't believe you forgot to buy my souvenir. You're such an idiot. I won't show you my new star fragments then. You really collected a lot of them, huh? He's got more than I do. I'll have to ask him to show them to me next time. Is that you there, Naira? It should be in a while. Hi, Auntie Kenny. Stop right there. It's Sister Kenny to you. Right, Sister Kenny. Oh, much better. Have you come to play with my little boy booty again? He missed you so much while you were gone. <laughs> really? Sure, Auntie. Um, s sister. Nissan. Oh, you're such a good boy, Neuda. Say, I heard you start up your handyman business with Signo again. Is that true? Oh, nothing keeps you kids down. I might need to ask you if you're helping the fields again. Will you be able to help? I, I mean, Sister Kenny. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be given tons of jobs by the time this is done. I don't know whether to take this bridge or not. Oh my god, there's a bigger segment of the town. <laughs> right, well, let's do this segment first. <laughs> we may be in story opening tutorialsville for quite a while by look at things. Hiya, Neuda. I heard some noise outside, so I figured you'd come home. Yep, and Signal's with me. I see, I see. Well, since it's him, I'm sure he'll be at our workshop at any moment. By the way... What? Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing, I just thought you looked tougher since I saw you last. Oh, I'm getting excited to tease Lyra about this. Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> Never mind, it's just one of my little joys in life. Ever since you and Signa left, I've been pretty bored. The villagers asked my dad to forge stuff for him, but nobody ever wants our weapons. So if you run out of things to do and want to swing a sword to pass the time, stop on by. I'll find you a cool weapon. How much do you... Uh, I'll get this lumberjack. <laughs> A long-handled axe used to cut down trees. Actually, it's 
One the thing that's most nearest my price range, to be fair. I could buy a bandana or a leather breastplate. Why are you turning around? That's not how you sell items, lady. See you next time. Maybe it is, now I think about it. Oh, hey, long time no see. Hi, Uncle Columba. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Dad. Can't you say something nice already? Uh, well, uh, it's your summer break, so take it easy and get some rest. Right, I will. <laughs> These two never change. Uh, I'm not good at coming up with nice things to say. Sorry, I'll get back to work. I'm sure you shall. Alright, what's the place next to it? Just wondering when this street ends. Lupus? What's up, Nayuda? You're looking good. So, uh, wait. You're smilier than usual. Oh, can you tell? Now that you troublemakers are back in the village, I'm hoping something interesting will happen. Tr troublemakers? I mean, Signa, maybe. What are you talking about? You've got all the makers of a real life rascal. I've got my hopes up for this summer. This village is so peaceful, it's boring. But the troublemakers have returned at last. I've got my hopes up for this summer. I'm sure you do. Oh, good. You and Signa have made it back to the village. Yes, Chief Serpents. We've returned. Oh, you're such a polite young man, Uda. No doubt thanks to our Earth for raise you like a mother. You must be grateful. And you're already 15. Now that you've enrolled in St. Elizé, you can't just keep playing around. Study hard like I did and make sure you give back to your parents. Uh, uh. Did your back go out? Uh, are you all right, Chief Serpents? Mm -mm. I might have gone a little too fired up in my lecture for this aching old back to handle. Uh, anyway, relax while you're back in the village. Oh, I can't beat the passing of the years after all. Do enjoy your time back in the village. <gasps> Yay! What's your name? Oh, hello, Naoda. You seem to be doing well. <laughs> You're looking good yourself, Annie Janice. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. The village is sure to become more lively now that you and Signa are back. I'll have to throw you a welcome home party soon. I'll look forward to it. <laughs> she hasn't changed a bit. She's always loved throwing parties. Now that you and Signa are back home, this calls for a full-on celebration. Auntie won't lose to Grosin Arthur. I'll show you my cooking skills. All of these people in town, they're, they're, they're very, like, animatedly designed, aren't they? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I mean... Wait. You're alive? <laughs> what is that? I've never seen this creature before. How'd it get here? <laughs> oh, I don't know what this mysterious creature is. <laughs> but it makes noises. What's that this way? Oh, I found the right the location. The blue sea flows without end. But nothing remains unchanged. It's been much too long, Nayuta. Master Orbis, long time no see. Ah, oh, you seem to have grown a bit tougher while you were away. And you still have good strong eyes. I suppose experiencing the wider world has helped you grow. Where's Signa? I thought I told you both to come. Uh, he seems like he's a little busy right now. So he's just being lazy. Seems he hasn't changed at all. <laughs> I guess Master Orbis sees right through us. You said you were going to train us today, right? Indeed, I would have liked to have trained the two of you together, but... Can't be helped. We'll train just you this time. Let's get started right away. Are you ready, Nayuta? I mean, I'll decline for now because I haven't checked out the rest of the town. I'm worried that this might cause stuff to happen. Do you know what I mean? But I feel bad not doing it. Yes, I'm ready, sir. Hmm, good. But first, take this. A wooden sword has been claimed. And another sub two. Thank you very much. Is this what I used to use on the island? Indeed, I've been holding on to it while awaiting your return. Unlike Signa, I'm sure you barely used your sword at the academy. You can start your training with that weapon as if it's your first time holding it. Yes, sir. Quest swordsman training has started. Before we can begin, you must equip your weapon. Speak with me once you're ready. Open equip from the camp screen to equip your weapons and armor. Equip a sword. And I can do... Ooh. I don't think I had this before. 
Thrash move. <laughs> Circle is my attack. <laughs> Ah, you've taken up a sword. Then let me know once you feel ready. I know. Can I go in your house? That's my house, Noda. <laughs> Where are you going? We're about to begin your training. Right. I guess I'm stuck here. <laughs> All right, then. Let us begin. I prepared a few scarecrows. Use that sword to destroy them. Yes, sir. I circle to perform my normal attack with your weapon. Press the button repeatedly to execute a four-hit combo. So the super basics of combat. Oh, your strength goes up. <sighs> I think I did it. You're certainly gifted. It's as if you haven't been away from the sword for so long. Signa is unnatural, but you may be able to compete with him, Nayuta. You're too kind, master. Signa's talent is real. I'm nothing compared to him. He saved me countless times from danger. Hmm. The training he may even... Anyway, I'm sure you're more inclined to academics and swordplay. It is how you'll find your lost paradise. Lost heaven. Yeah. My parents believed it exists on the other side of the end of the world. That there isn't an end. That there's something beyond it. I want to see their beliefs with my own eyes. I'm still a kid and I don't know how many years it will take. But I want to commit myself to that research in the future. Uh, you may just make it to that world someday. Now you've finished warming up. Why don't we spar together? Against you? I've never even seen Signa win a single time. There is more to sparring than winning, Neuta. The goal is to measure your growth. But monsters! They've been appearing quite frequently on the island lately, but I did not expect any showing up now. They don't appear to be difficult opponents. I'll leave it to you, Neuta. What? Me? It'll be a good opportunity to see what you can do. Don't worry, I'll make sure they do not reach the village if need be. Uh, all right, then. I'll give it a try. Good luck. He <laughs> just said, I'm out with you. <laughs> Here I go. Press X to jump over enemies, obstacles, and more. Press triangle to evade attacks. You won't take damage for a brief window, so make good use of it in battle. <laughs> just, don't worry, I won't dodge. I'll just jump over it. It's fine. My int went up. Okay. Ah, oh, I did it. Eh, yeah, not bad. Is the village safe? Yes, I kept an eye out, but none of the monsters got through. Good work. You didn't let a single one by. <laughs> that was just lucky. It also helped knowing you were behind me. Be that as it may, there's no better training than a real battle. You can spar with me next time. Perhaps when Signa is here as well. Sounds good. I'll make sure to drag him along. I'd appreciate it. Training is helpful for more than the body. It nurtures a strong mind. I do not think it will be in vain when it comes to pursuing your dreams. It would behoove you to train diligently while you're here. I will. Another quest completed. That should be everything. I'm sure Signa's just about finished his work too. I guess I'll head back home. That gives me at least time to check out some other things first. If only Signa were here, I could have made the training a little better. He may have joined that vigilante corps, but his mind still needs a lot of work. Sooner or later, he'll need to learn discipline. And get strategy lessons, too. What would I like to learn about? Sword types? There are two types of swords, one-handed and two-handed. The standard one-handed swords are perfect for delivering a barrage of quick blows and are easier to use. Two-handed blades, on the other hand, are characterized by the high attack power and slower strikes. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, so choose a sword that is most comfortable. Some monsters can also cause abnormal statuses. Poison, which drains your strength. Para paralysis, that slows your ability to act. Freezing, which renders you immobile. And confusion, which derails your actions. You'll recover from all of these over time, but you can also use equipment and items to resist or undo these statuses. Make sure you're well prepared if you ever go to a dangerous place. And I will do. I guess I could talk to you some more. If only Signal were here, I could have made the training a little better. You may have... Oh, you're saying the same thing. He's going to have to learn some discipline. Hello? Anything out here? Can I break this? Looks like I can. 
over an incredibly long time, but doing a 20 chain gets me strength up. 